about all there is to it. Now I'm gonna let this sit and you can see it kind of weeping through the bag a little bit. And that's what I will apply as a foiler feed in the evening. I'll come back in about four or five hours to use that. I'm not worried about it getting anaerobic because it just doesn't sit long enough for that to be an issue. All right guys, so it's about, about four hours, almost five hours since I made my worm castings to you. I think the longer you wait, the better. I wouldn't go over 24 hours, but you, know, you, you can make it in the morning, go to work, come back in the evening. Don't throw this out. This is still good stuff. Put this on your plants. And I'll take a, an ounce of uh, dish detergent. If I'm dealing with bugs and I'm spraying to keep uh, earwigs, the little mites and things like that down, they drowned in the soap. So add about an ounce of soap, dish soap. Uh, this brand, I won't tell you what it is. It's a pretty well-known brand, but I think any soap will work. I've used generic soap. Some soaps um, I've, I've seen leave more residue than this one. The, uh, I have a little measuring cup. I don't know if that's going to focus on that. And it's a one ounce shot glass basically. But since I'm not spraying for bugs, I'm just going to feed my plants. I'm only going to go with about a half an ounce of this uh, dish soap. There we are. Nice little marking on the glass, makes it so much easier. Um, so we're half an ounce of dish soap to the gallon. Of the worm castings. Worm castings tea. I don't have to spill too much of it. Now this is very mild. It won't burn your leaves, which uh, sometimes the other feeds will, but this won't burn your leaves if you do it this way. Uh, there we are, that's it. And I will put it in my little pump sprayer. I'm going to go along and spray some plants. Um, any old sprayer will work. Okay. I like the gallon sprayers simply because they're lighter. Not a lot of work to carry around. Oops, I really don't want that. So, I'm going to go to a little spray. And there we go. So let's... Uh, Walk over here and spray a couple plants. Okay, so these guys are kind of dull in color, so just a light mist like that should do it. The soap makes the water wetter, if that makes any sense. What it does is it it kind of breaks the surface tension of the water so that it lays on the leaf and doesn't bead off. Sometimes plants can be uh, the leaves can be a little hydrophobic and they'll bead up water will beat up and roll right off. But if you put that little half an ounce of soap in there, it breaks this surface tension on the water and it lays more smoothly and the plants are able to absorb it. Now, if I was dealing with bugs today, which I'm not, if I was dealing with bugs, uh, lettuce, cabbage, something like that, I would be going under each leaf 
looking for an insect and spraying it under each leaf. Oh, I'm hoping that's in the shot. Um, and looking for and spraying directly on the bugs. Um, earwigs are a big hassle for me around here. And so what happens is if I have enough soap in this, or if I was chasing bugs with this, the uh, ounce of soap in there would drown the bugs. They can't breathe. They get bubbles in their breathing apparatus and then they, they suffocate. They die pretty quickly. It's pretty rapid death uh, via soap bubbles. So that's what I do. Now inside of the worm castings, there's an enzyme. There's an enzyme in the worm's gut and I, I want to call it chitin. I could be wrong. And this enzyme, the worm uses to break down things that it eats like hair and uh, grass and whatever uh, uh, hard calcium kind of things, eggshells, uh, it, it's feeding on or putting in its gut. And this, this enzyme, this chitin, it will break down the ectoskeleton of the bugs. So that's another, it's, it's a nice attribute to using worm castings to feed your plant. And I don't think, it is a mild of flavor if I've got mixed up here, I can spray these things pretty hard and it's not going to burn any leaves. Um, then the worm castings is feeding this plant, it's making the cell wall structure stronger, thicker, making it less appetizing to the insects. So you really can't go wrong with a little worm casting tea. Anyways, that's how I mix it up. If you guys got a better way to do it, share it with me. I'd like to learn. Um, if you think I'm making a mistake, share that with me too. Help me stop sharing my mistakes. Yeah, I'll start sharing some successes instead. So that's it for today. See you guys. Get out there and do some gardening.